I will be discussing spoilers for the latest episode of The Mandalorian and for Boba Fett. If you don't want to be spoiled, you have time to back out now. Come back to this video when you have seen the episode and we can chat about it when you come back. So, heavy spoilers ahead in this special edition today on Star Wars Fanatic. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see future releases on Boba Fett, Jango Fett, Mandalorians, and so much more. Also, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. It does help show appreciation for the hard work I put in every day to every video. It also wouldn't hurt to share this video as you may need it for ammunition in your next Boba Fett or Jango Fett conversation. And now, on to the spoilers. Less than 24 hours ago, I posted a video discussing how Jango Fett and Boba Fett could be actual Mandalorians. Well, it has been confirmed. They are in fact Mandalorians. I am so excited for this. I have been a fan of Boba Fett since his promotional appearance in the white armor before The Empire Strikes Back was released. I have been defending him in my videos and in conversations with other fans. A lot of fans didn't understand why we like Boba Fett, and they still may not, but right now, I feel like the Nostradamus of Star Wars. I predicted it. I'll go ahead and put a link to the other video inside this video and in the description below. So go ahead and check that out when you have a chance. Now as far as our love for Boba Fett back in the day, it isn't just because he looked cool. Even though that is a small factor of it, Boba Fett was the first to introduce the Mandalorian armor and culture into the Star Wars universe. There have been many books and comics written on him and his father Jango Fett all of which claimed them as Mandalorians. It wasn't until George Lucas decided one day that they weren't Mandalorians anymore. George Lucas, the creator, the Star Wars wizard, the one who's definitive in everything Star Wars. What George Lucas says goes, and he adheres to that as well, right? Wrong. George Lucas tinkered with Star Wars lore ever since he learned how to edit the existing movies. So, his word is, well, Thank you for creating this universe, Mr. Lucas. By the way, this is the same George Lucas that sold Star Wars because he didn't like the backlash from the prequels. No, I don't dislike him. I have mad respect for the guy. I think he changed it too often, though. Some fans accepted some of the changes, and others accepted other changes. The changes that fit their own narrative and headcanon. So if some of those fans didn't like Boba Fett or didn't understand the obsession with him or something along those lines, they took what George Lucas said to heart that Jango Fett was not a Mandalorian. But it wasn't actually George Lucas's words that they weren't Mandalorians. He left it open-ended. Anyways, enough about the creator. We have Boba Fett back and he is definitely a Mandalorian. There is no disputing it. I know some, some fans will continue to try to justify their own opinions as to why he is not a Mandalorian, but the proof is out there and he is a Mandalorian. It is encrypted in the armor. His father was a foundling and raised as a Mandalorian. The same as Din Djarin. Jango even fought in the Mandalorian Civil War. So how can fans dispute it? Well, I've already seen it happening. Some claim Boba is still a clone and cannot be a Mandalorian. My dispute to this? The episode confirmed he is a Mandalorian. Also, where in the Creed does it say a clone cannot be a Mandalorian? Anyone can be a foundling and anyone can be indoctrinated. Another argument is Jango wasn't born on Mandalore and that makes him and Boba non-Mandalorians. My argument to that is this episode confirmed he is a Mandalorian. It doesn't matter if he nor his ancestors were not born on Mandalore. Were your own ancestors born into the culture in which you identify with? Probably not. The last argument I've seen is that certain clans may not consider him a Mandalorian because they do not follow the same creed. Well, my argument to this is, this episode confirmed he is a Mandalorian. Bo-Katan was not claiming Mando wasn't a Mandalorian. She was simply stating that his clan was a bunch of radicals and that there are many ways to look at someone as a Mandalorian, basically saying not to judge her for removing her helmet. So, for all three of these instances, my comeback is, it's in the episode, it's confirmed they are Mandalorians. 
Man, I would have hated to have been a descendant of one of the tired, the poor, the huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of the teeming shore that would have been turned away at Ellis Island. Because with the logic that if you weren't born on Mandalore or into Mandalorian culture, you are not Mandalorian, means that your ancestors did not become Americans and that makes you a non-American. In fact, unless you are Native American, you are not an American by these standards. That really goes for any nationality. Look, if you just don't like Boba Fett or Jango Fett, just say that. Say you don't like them. It's okay, there's characters I don't like either. But to make up BS excuses that's just trying to fit your own narrative, it's weak. So yes, I am rejoicing over this. All Boba Fett and Jango Fett fans should be as well. Yes, it's awesome that we now have both returned to their status as Mandalorians, something that should never have been changed. But we have a definitive answer now. Of course I'm gloating a bit. Do you understand how many arguments I have been in because some refuse to believe the possibility that Boba Fett and Jango Fett could be Mandalorians? For decades, I called Boba Fett a Mandalorian. Then it was suddenly taken away. It's just sad it took this long to get it determined. Thank you, Dave Filoni and John Favreau for doing this for us. So to reiterate what the episode said, the canon story is now that Jango Fett was a foundling. He was raised as a Mandalorian and even fought in the Mandalorian Civil War. He took his clone son and raised him as a Mandalorian until the moment he was killed by a Jedi. The armor that Jango wore was passed down to Boba Fett and encrypted with their entire house lineage, including that of Boba Fett and Jango Fett. As for the old adage that Boba Fett was killed by a blind man and went out like a punk, he was not. In fact, he defeated the odds and escaped the sand booty hole with teeth and came back. That just reinforces our thoughts that Boba Fett is a true badass. Okay, I'll calm down with my gloating for now, but I'm sure there will be a lot more Boba Fett and Mandalorians in general coming down the pike for, to keep me busy for a long time. At that time, you can bet I will discuss it. Again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see those videos about the Mandalorians, Boba Fett, Jango Fett, Bo-Katan, and Din Djarin as they are released. Hit the thumbs up to show your support for the hard work I put into every video, and Go ahead and share it to those friends that hate Boba and Django. That you just want to annoy. Thank you for watching, and remember, this is and always will be the way.